Hey everybody, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, my name is Coxter and uh, this is a little bit different for me. So I'm gonna go in and actually do kind of a scouting round on this week's Platinum Tour course. So just go into local match. Um, I already have it pulled up here. So Ranaski is the course name. It is, uh, I believe it's the Mexico Cup. I'm looking at my notes on the side here. So, um, but I'm gonna set it up for round one conditions. And uh, I looked at a couple streams that I already played. This is Sunday, by the way. I'll put this out today. Uh, this, my upload speed has been absolutely terrible. Um, appreciate that Mediacom. Um, I just got off the phone with them. I set up an appointment. Of course, the appointment can't be until Thursday. So I'm losing so much money on uploads and because uh, I can't stream. It's not, it's not fast enough to stream live stream. So... Uh, it's been really, really irritating lately. So, but uh, red tees, obviously pin one is going to be my go-to here. And um, let's see, uh, we've got medium winds, so not bad from the southeast conditions. And we got firm, firm, fast, firm, firm, and fast. So time of day is, I guess I can set this, but it's afternoon and clear. So we'll set all that 100%. So it should be on TGC settings. So, hey, if you're just joining me for the very first time, thank you so much for being here, for one. Um, make sure you are subscribed. Hit that bell for all the notifications. And uh, hit that like button, guys. Hey, Hi I'm there. just trying Welcome something else. I need to refocus. <clears throat> and I'm not and, uh, feeling the best today either. So it was a long day. I'm uh, trying to slam a big... We are standing on the tee of the and I just knocked a whole bunch of shit off. But, uh, excuse Let's my language, this. but I'm it's trying to drink a Red Bull here. Get some, uh, energy. And, uh, oh, I'll clean that up later. <laughs> but, let's take a look at this plat course. Alright, so it starts you off with a par 5. Up the hill. Downwind, it looks like. And, uh, I think there's plenty of... Plenty of fairway out here. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy. I am going to take a couple practice swings, though, because I have no clue what, um... Oh, my gosh. I'm way off to the, to the left. I swear, sometimes this controller is money. <clears throat> so that wouldn't have been bad. Okay. I think I know what to do. I know what I have to do, anyway. Just like that. Just put it out here in the fairway. Gives yourself an opportunity to go for this okay, in two. I know it's that. a decently long one, okay, about um, yards but downwind here. makes that a lot easier. So 229 come into this par five. And like I said, I'm just kind of looking around, um, scouting. I like this pin location just because everything kind of feeds to the hole. Um, the fairway lies above my feet, therefore it's going to kick a little to the left. I think I'm going to... Oh, man. Um... Do I need to hit this? Will this roll up there? I think this will roll up there. I really do. I'm just going to hit it straight up, I think. It's going to kick a little left. All right. I did hit it a little fast. Oh, wow. That didn't go anywhere. Maybe it gets a big kick. I don't know. Okay. Okay. It's actually, distance-wise, is not bad. Setting up here now I for our assumed it was going to fly a little bit further with the wind being downwind like 8 mile hour and then uh, down 10 feet. I figured I'd get a few more yards and land really close to the front of the green. But no, but actually this isn't a really bad um, you can chip or you can putt this probably. It's right on the edge. So just add just a little bit of power. Not much. See if we can uh, get it in there or at least kind of scope out the green. So... Might have a chance. So good. It's right in the that middle. <laughs> Alright, so uh, hole number one, par five. Should be a gettable eagle in round number one conditions here. Hole number two, 500 yard, par four. Little uh, direct sideways wind here. Oh, just a laser line. Perfect. 102. Lovely on this left side. <clears throat> and second shot here on the second hole. 193 into this. And the wind is helping, but not much. I don't think this is going to get all the way up there. 
So what I'm going to do is actually deal off this down just a just a little bit and with a little bit of draw. And I think while hitting this, it's going to kick to the right, plus it's going to start to the right. And then hopefully this is online. I hit it a little fast. Get to the right, get to the right. It should roll up here, though. It's firm and fast, so that's... It's not bad. It's up on Same it's up on that upper nice. tier. If I didn't fast it, I would have been probably okay. closer to the hole. Thirteen feet to the hole. But this isn't bad. Um, course isn't isn't looking too bad right now. So um, we got a little bit of left to start with, and then it kind of ventures back to the right. But you know what? I'm gonna try to I'm gonna do the old worm cambage here. So if we do. Look at my putter, how it's vibrating there. That's awesome. Love that. Um, this first one is definitely going downhill just a little bit. Not bad. This one is uh, pretty much straight. This one, pretty much straight, right in the middle. This one is definitely going down to the right. Pretty good. Alright, so we're just going to go... Maybe right there. Oh, it's getting there. It does curve to the right, but she Good goes. Job. Let's in go. There with the birdie. And Did kind of what I thought. Alright. The okay. third hole We're here on this one, right is a 226 yard par 3. It's down 31 yards, so there's 10 yards right there. I don't know if I can get 9 to 209. Where does 209 get me here? Does it... It lands on the green. But not enough. I think I'm going to have to loft up the 4-iron here. Just loft it up and just let it ride that wind a little bit over to the left. See what it does here. Just a touch fast. Should ride this over. Distance-wise, I really like this. Beautiful. That's gonna yep. work. Just Beautiful. Fine the loft on the, the four iron is all you need if if I Here do have this that wind in round number one. So. So far, so good. Tap that in that there for one the bird. Drops and that's your second birdie in a row. Not that bad so far. Streak, perhaps. Not bad. Like I said, this is a scouting oh, round on TGC to Tours Platinum. Here. On uh, at uh, what is it called? Renaski. That's how I say it anyway. Um, this one's a little goofy here. Take a look at the green. Okay, alright. So I think I'm just going to play this little fade. Get back into the wind. Keep it off to the right here. Well, you made good contact with that one. Keep it off to the right. Give it away from those bunkers and this stuff. Just give me a nice, or so to the pin. nice shot in here. So that was pretty good. I did push slow it, but... It just held the wind perfectly. All right, up 19. Sideways wind, about 10, 11 mile an hour. Uh, up 19. I do have a little bit of a backstop, so this should be all right. I'm going to put a little bit of loft on this six iron. I'm trying to do a lot less loft and spin because it really... Um, makes the perfect zone so much harder to hit, and it really affects the ball. I think that was that's my biggest issue uh, with swing plane. I'm doing too much. A little fast there, but a little push helped. This is on a decent line. If it sticks right here, that's not bad. We'll take that. Well done. Five under if you sink this putt. All right, another little birdie. But here on hole number three or four, I mean, um, oh, hit it a little firm. Towards that hole. Whew, she does That's catch it. Gonna work. I thought I hit that firm, but I didn't. It didn't go like I hit Let's it firm. Let's let this fly here. On the <clears throat> All right. Hole number five, another par four. And these scouting rounds are going to be a little bit longer, just because I am kind of thinking about things and uh, just overlooking everything. Trying to soak up as much information as I can on these. Alright, nine down. I think you just hit the fairway. Nothing fancy here. Just perfect. Yep. Get it right up in this little gully. Awesome. That was well played. 
Nothing, uh, this one's about 100 yards nothing out. real fancy there, like I said. So that leaves me a 98-yard pitch shot. However, I could go to my lob wedge, and it's a 101. So this is I like this a lot better. Um, it's a little uphill, a little above my feet, so it is going to kick to the left a little bit. I think the wind's going to try to kick it back. Wedges seem to um, go a little bit harder. All right, let's do this. I'm aim right at it. Just a touch fast. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I thought it was going to kick a little bit to the left a little bit more, but this should... Well done, okay. that's another green Yeah, just bounce, bounce, stop. Belt. Pretty much leaves a and little downhill trickler here. This one for birdie. But this should be fine. Well, the putt appears to be online. Pretty Ooh, easy putt. That's your fourth birdie we are today. six hundred through five. Wind blowing left to right on, on, on this, this scouting round. Of course it's a scouting round, right? And uh look at this. The sixth is a drivable par four. Um, this is the conditions. Round number one. I'm just going to add a little bit of backspin and a little bit of loft because it is up 50 feet. Um, just to get this up there. I think a 101 still makes it. I did a laser line, but it's pushing off to the... Oh, yeah, that's plenty of distance. Is it going to kick up in the heavy, though? Yes, it is. Darn. Okay. Okay. A little bit too much of the spin and loft. Um, just a little bit less and you uh, maybe pole. get a little bit uh, easier here. Um, this one's going to require some... Oh man, stopping power. I don't know if this... It's firm and fast. Can I do this? Okay, that gives me a little bit better. So if you go up in the air and then hit, it is above my feet. So it is going to kick like that. Even if this lands in the light rough, I'm fine with that. Yep, just, just like that. I don't know if this is not going to stop, is it? <clears throat> I probably should try to do a flop there. Footer. If I do get up there. Um, this leaves me a... Kind of a straightforward. I guess it's, it's a double breaker. Going to the right and then coming back to the left. I don't know if it's going to go to the right too much, though. I'm just gonna hit straight. See what it does here. Oh come on, get in. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Did exactly oh, what yeah. I thought it would do. That's so all right, seven under through good. six. Wow. Okay, let's see what you can do here on the seventh. The seventh hole is a par four, four hundred and forty seven yards. Down fifteen to the hole. Alright, just uh, gotta hit the fairways. Nice, pure swing, great stuff. Um this might be on the edge. Of, it is light rough in here. Light rough Setting is fine. Just it's in the, uh, just in the first cut. So that's a little trick, guys. So if you hit the ground, you can't really see the ground right there. But if you hit your overview like this, you can actually see what it's doing. So it's sloping forward just a little bit. Obviously, it's above my feet. You can see that. Um, but pretty good lie. 90 to 92. It is sloping forward. So I am actually going to probably hit this 8-iron just over here a little bit further oh I hit it fast if I didn't hit this fast yeah, it hits the front of the green and probably goes right up there well, I, I don't mind that shot at all actually one. okay and from the greenside bunker let's uh, nestle this <clears> one in nice and close on shots like this I do like to um, go um, a box a box and a half past the hole um, 70 to 80 percent lie is fine. I put a uh, quite a bit of backspin on it just because I don't want it to run that far, and uh, just aim right there and pull it back. Go through the vibration just a little bit. And there it is. Wow. Dropping in there for the birdie. Well done. <laughs> Why is this a scouting round at this point? And you're eight under par <laughs> currently. Oh, excuse me. We like I said, I'm a little under the weather. I, I don't know if you can see it in my face. I'm just kind of a little pale today. Just a uh, achy body and uh, a little dizzy. But apparently that's uh, making me play well. I don't know. Um, this, the eighth hole, is 130 yard. Par three. 
The wind is uh, helping just a little bit. It is down nine. So I'm going to add a little bit of loft. And I am going to add about the same amount of spin. I want to see what this does. Pretty good line there. I just pushed it off there. Distance-wise, though. Realized eh. the bunker. Okay. If that would have landed ah, on the green it. and not pushed. All right, let's leave this sand possibly? behind us. What do you say? All right, same thing here, though, goes, guys. Uh, box and a half passed. Quite a bit of backspin. A little bit of loft. Maybe a little bit more backspin because it does roll away. So, got to be careful on these. Oh, oh, it is wonderful. Nice oh, so close. But That's we're getting in there, eight under guys. Alright, 8 under through 8. Alright, the ninth the hole rounds out the front 9 with a par 5. 525 yards. It tries to start with you with a 3 wood, so be careful there. Alright. Looks like a fairly benign tee shot. You can run it through this fairway with some like downwind options, but uh, into the wind like that, you should be ninth. fine. Leaves me 222 yards back into here. Uh, it's actually going to be a perfect hybrid. Uh, the wind's a little higher than this, but I do have a little bit of a backstop as well. Um, I did up the hybrid to two, another yard to 231. It was a 230 club. Um... I think if I hit this, maybe 102, 103 should be good. Let's see if I can do that. Or a 104. Oh, might be a little long a now. Little too much it's got this. a backstop. It's got a backstop. Does it roll back down? It's trying to. It's trying to. Come on. Oh, doing all right. this just a little bit too. Like a 102, I think, would have been fine. Good work. This is okay, though. Down and you get to 10 under par. All right, 15 footer for Eagle. Let's see if we can make this. It's gonna kick to the left right away with that foot bead, and then trickle Wind's over to the left. Line. Got it. Awesome job. That's your Eagle. What a front nine. Ten under front nine. Okay, team. What is going on here? On the tenth hole. <sighs> trying to focus, trying to stay relaxed, but yet talk. So we we uh, go directly into another par five. Uh, starting the back nine down here on hole number 10. So it's down 44. It is downwind a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of loft, a little bit of backspin, and try to keep this on this right side. I put a little fade on it just to keep it on the right yeah, side. I think, I think we, this uh, is going to we'll give you the here. best angle because it's going to, it looks like it kicks to the left. Didn't really kick to the left, but that's a really, really good, good shot. Look at the green from here below us. Gives me a perfect opportunity here. Um, so it's down 33, so you're losing, or you're gaining 11 yards right there. Um, and then obviously gaining another, probably almost 10 with the miles per hour, straight downwind. So if we go down to our 129 club, gain 11. It's 140. Another 10's 150. If I land this 150 straight up, it might be pretty good. I'm just going to see what this does. It is downhill. Or down sloping above my feet just a little bit. Let's see what this does. I'm curious. That's pretty darn yeah, good. That That's pretty darn good. Let's see, the math played really, really well on that. Us. Like you didn't really gain any more. Looking good. Venturing over right Amazing. to the middle of the cup. That's an eagle again. That's twelve under. And twelve. What is going on with the scouting round? Scoring? Why can't I just jump right into plat and play like up. this? We got a tailwind to deal with. <sighs> that's that's me though. All right, so one sixty-six. Eleventh uh, hole is a one sixty-six yard par three. Just downwind. Um, no really elevation change whatsoever. So you're looking at, um, I always call that about 10 yards. Um, so one, it's, it's, well, I don't know if that's going to make it there, the pitching wedge. So I'm going to actually have to take the nine iron and do some loft. 
Just do some loft. I won't do some backspin. I just do some loft, and I think this will be all right. That's my guess, anyway. A little fast there. I wonder what the distance is, though. Heading left. Distance looked really good. Okay. Well, missed the. Uh, I mean, just a little miss one, hit. But uh, I've already forgotten about it. All right. So these okay, situations, the sand, if you hit down on down your, um, I I use R three, uh, but if you swing with the right stick, then it's L three to uh, get the different view. Uh, this one is going to be full lawful full spin because it is a worse lie, which means it's going to run out more. And also, it's on a downhill lie. So you can always tell this. So if you go... That's actually not too bad. It's pretty... Yeah, you see how my shoes are situated on a, uh, you know, a downhill slope like that. So the ball is definitely below my feet. So full off, full spin. Just go about a box by... It's going to kick forward. It's got to spin it. Play it a little further off to the left. Yep. In the bunker, who cares? Perfect. You're just going to stick it close. Teach you guys how to be Splash Kings. All right, so tap in par. All right, the 12th Here hole is a par, par four, in front four of us. that is um, a little tricky. So, like, you can, you can take the driver and uh, you got to bend it. Bend it like Beckham around these trees if you really want to, or just take a three wood and uh, just add some loft to it and uh, just take it over here, up and over that tree. Should land in the fairway, just be fine. Yeah, we'll have that. It's a short enough hole where it doesn't this really matter. You don't have any benefit of going over there as long as you have a, uh, a fairly low club coming in. You should be fine. All right, so 111 yards straight back into the wind. Wind's blowing about 12. And the the how I read that guy is in the wind meter. The gray fills up the uh, the black um, circle, and uh, about halfway is roughly about 13 and a half miles per hour. And you just know that from playing stuff with it turned on. So. Like 27 miles per hour, I believe, is a full meter. Alright, so going uphill, 18 feet, and you can see that up in the HUD, up there. Uh, I'm going to add one more club. This one's going to be just a little long, so I'm going to put just a little bit of loft on it. And I'm hoping this is right on the money. Come on, heading for the green. And it is. We'll take that. Good shot out there. Nice. We will take played. that. This one for the birdie. Don't really have to think this about this going. too much. Just hit it in the hole. Nice putt. That's for birdie. Number and uh, we're 13 under day. through 12. We've got a long par 4 staring us down on this one. The 13th hole is a par 4, 442 yards. Um, it is uphill a little bit, so I'm going to add just a little bit of backspin, a little bit of loft, maybe just a touch of draw to help it get around this corner a little bit. Nice laser focus. I just did the little um, draw just to kind of help turn the corner just a little bit, and that's an absolutely perfect drive. I approve. <clears throat> Setting up about 115 There's 115 yards coming in here. Up two foot, don't really matter about that. Um, it's only about eight mile an hour wind. Um, the funny thing is with lob wedges and sand wedges and even gap wedges, the eight mile an hour wind does not give you eight yards of help. Um, it doesn't really give you about half of what it is. So it might give you, and I don't even know if that's eight mile an hour. Um, it might be seven or something. So it might, might help three yards. But it's up two feet. So what I usually do in that instance is this is a little short. The other one's a little long. I'm going to take this. Especially on the lob wedge and sand wedge and gap wedge. You can do this. You can de-loft it. Just a couple ticks like that. And then actually put a little bit of forward spin on it. And hopefully this hits that hill and just trickles right up it. A little bit of a fast. 
Oh, it's long. Heading for the green. Maybe the fast is long. I don't know. That's a safe shot. I need to probably one tap a deloft, so you gotta be careful when you're delofting the lob wedge and the sand wedge because they just go for days. Like they just extend the length of the club a lot. So, all right, it's a little tricky putt here. Downhill, 12 footer. Bend to the right. Turn. Nope. Ah, just it right might go down this hole. hill too. Yeah, it does. And bye bye. Well, okay, we did say it. Okay. A Twelve foot putt. Just to plan it out there a little bit more, but you know, it's okay. It's getting there. It's okay. And we do need to get another par. Your par. We got uh, so there's only one par five on the back nine. This and is a par that, well, seventy one. So you got par. two on the front, just the one on the back, right on the tenth there. Um, so, but it is a pretty scorable. At least the front nine was extremely scorable. Back nine seems to be a little bit more difficult as far as pin locations, I think. Um, the 14th hole is a 503 par yard par th four. Um, downwind a lot. I don't know if I can, uh, driver's going to be too much. I think if I just backspin a three wood, get a little bit extra carry on it. Should be just fine. Beauty. Yep. If you can knock your three wood out there, 315 Lockley's yards downwind. Shot here on the 14th. There's no need for anything else, really. So, um, leaves 191 yards down 13. Wind is helping. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. I like to, on this situation, I think what I'll do is add just a touch of loft here. And I'm going to spin it pretty hard. Try to, anyway. This makes this harder to hit, of course. But it's right at it. Is this the distance good? good? It looks pretty darn good. Just spun. Yep, that's going to work for you. Great shot. That. Great shot. Pushed it just a little and bit, this but is a otherwise, look at pretty birdie. good. Looking good. Okay. Way to get that Knock birdie. it in there for the bird. 14 under through 14 holes. <laughs> 14 under is your score. 300. Okay, the 15th, the 15th hole. 320 hole. yards. Par 4. It is drivable. Um, Full backspin with the driver. And just a little loft. I'm just going to hit this 101. I'm going to see what this does. You make good contact. 102. That's yeah, plenty. It's plenty. And it lands very softly. Goes to the middle of the green and stays so like right there. Uh, Let's go. Just, just gonna wow. The green and, uh, putt for Eagle. So 101 would have been ideal, obviously. For Eagle. That was really nice. But this is a very scorable first round. Let's see if we can knock this in there. Um, oh, wow. Right by the hole. I didn't think I hit that that this hard. Putt could take you oh, it's down on a crown. So it went back up the hill and then downhill. A lot of downhill. Work. All right, but that's okay. Oh, it's getting there. There we go. Make the birdie. So good. So good. Yeah, definitely an eagleable hole if you can uh, hit the driver on the green there. Blowing right to left on this one. All right, 16th hole is a par four, 470 yards. Um, not too long. I think a three wood is probably the play here just to make sure you're in the fairway. Just a little slow off the tee. It's fine. Right in the fairway. It's going to be like about downhill down. and above my feet. So you got to pay attention to the foot lie. Into the wind just a little bit. I think this is fine. I'm going to add a little bit of loft to the six iron. Play it a little further right than I think. Because it's going to kick to the left. Nice laser. 
We did kick to the left, and look at this line. It's oh wow, I added too That'll much do. loft. I think I added that much. Feet to the cup. Pretty good line. Definitely take that. Let's see if we can knock this in for the birdie. It's on a decent line. It's gonna break just oh, off to the left, though. Yep. Yeah. So close. But All right, here we go. Let's get that's okay. Like I said, this is kind of a scouting in. round. And after that one, fifteen. Obviously, we're playing pretty well. Good luck. Um, Par three. Really good shots. We'll have to do this maybe um, on some of the other rounds too. I would, like I said, I wanted to do a live stream today, but just wasn't happening. Wasn't happening. My internet is terrible right now. So, all right, seventeenth hole, par three, hundred and sixty-nine yards. It's down. We'll call it thirty, so ten yards of gain. But your wind is hurting. I'm gonna say probably. Um, it's blowing about eight or nine right there, but um, it's off to the side, so a herd of maybe six, five or six. I don't know if the nine iron quite gets there. It's a 67. No, it doesn't. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of loft on the eight. Just like that, and I think this will... Nice, that's uh, some Pretty much a laser. Contact. Oh, that's way short. Well, that's wow. okay. That's okay. We'll get on the green. The wind did hurt that a lot. I guess the loft added. It's going to be in the air longer. So the wind's going to play a little bit more. So maybe just hit the eight iron full. I don't know. But this gives a little chip chance here. Just like that, and right in the middle. Work for your bird, <laughs> chipping it on in there. Well done. 16 under through 17. Right All right, guys, the final on hole one. on Renaski is a par 4, 486 yards. Let's see if we can knock this out here. Pretty good shot. Pretty so wide open fairway. Um, the little mounds on the left-hand side. yards out. Got to a decent position here. 213 yards left in here. It is up 11, but into the wind as well. I'm going to have to probably take the hybrid. Maybe I'm going to play a little bit of a high baby draw. Let's see what this does here. Oh, that's um, going way to the right here. And that is... Well, Not unfortunately, the best shot. we missed the green here. I probably the upslope on the fairway probably shot that up higher than I anticipated. But we do have a birdie chip in chance here on the 18th. Fairly straightforward. Might have a chance. Might have a chance. And chipping that one in <laughs> for the bird. <laughs> I don't right. even know what to say, guys. 17 right. under practice jump. round little scouting round come on let's go i love it guys hey if you want to see more of stuff like this make that sure you're subscribed notified points. and hey hit that like button guys With let me know in the comments say if you want me to do more see of these i'm going to just do probably one every week before the rounds um but uh yeah just let me know we played pretty well um and uh for a scouting round not bad not bad at all guys so hey um thank you so much and uh we'll see you again probably round one is going to be tomorrow so hopefully I, at least i play like this right i don't know so the real thing is always a little bit different the, the wind direction is a little bit different too so all right take care guys bye